guys, in this video we will review Leah's entire collection. We're going to start with Miss Leah Clark herself. As you can see, the Girl of the Year has her name on the box and she also comes with the sticker of the doll and the book right on the front of the box. So this is what she looks like in the box. Take off the cover and you have the book. Leah dives in. Right underneath the book is where you're going to find her extras. So it's not in a little bag on the side of the box anymore. It's right underneath the book. Here's her messenger bag. It velcros open. So it's really cute design. It just goes with her theme this year. And then underneath the bag is her necklace compass. So let's open that up. It's just on a black string. And then it's a little compass. And look at it. It really works. How cool is that? So let's get the doll out of the box. Here she is. Now I wanted to show you some things that I noticed about her right off the bat. Her arms are completely covered in plastic now. I'm sure this is a new thing they're doing to protect the doll while it's in the box so she doesn't get any scrapes or any scratches or anything else that could happen to her limbs. So that's really nice that they're protecting the doll. And then she does have a hairnet. Remember, Mary Ellen didn't come with a hairnet for some reason, but Miss Leah Clark has one. So all of her hair has been protected. Let's get this thing off. Ah, her hair is free. Now she has beautiful curls. She has long locks. Here, close up, she has a new eyebrow shape. She has the hazel greenish eyes and she has tan skin. So I'm sure being out in the rainforest, out in the sun, she just tans very easy. So she's a tan girl. Here's her beautiful hair. Look how long that is. I'm sure once we curl it and style it, it'll look much better. <laughs> we'll fix it, we'll fix it. So yeah, her hair is pretty long. It goes past her dress if you pull it straight down. Um, but with the curls, you know, it kind of rises up a bit. So there she is, she's completely out of the box. We did get her ears pierced because she comes with some pretty cool earrings. Here are those up close. So when you get her ears pierced, she comes with a pair that's in the set. So you get a double of one pair. So one of the other dolls will enjoy that pair. Can't forget to show you the undies. They're very plain. They're just like a neon green. And then I also noticed, as I was pulling up to show you this, they also wrap the doll's legs or thighs in plastic. So again, I'm sure that's to protect the doll while she's in her packaging, make sure no scrapes or marks happen. Another new thing with Leah is she doesn't come with the long neck strings. She actually comes with a zip tie around her neck. You can feel it in the fabric. So you can no longer take off her head, you know, by untying the strings. So her head's just gonna stay on with a zip tie and if you need anything done, you'll have to send her into the doll hospital unless you know how to take it apart yourself. So here she is with her hair brushed and beautiful lighting. She has got some bright colors in her collection. I mean, she's got some loud colors going on. It's very busy. This pattern is all over the place. Here's her hair. It looks, so she's tan, and then it looks like she's got some highlights going on in her hair, but it looks like natural highlights from the sun. So it's really cute with her skin tone. Here she is from behind, so you'll see the dress pattern, her long hair, and her cute sandals. So tell us what your favorite thing about Leah is. Okay, next up in the collection are the animals. As you can see this year, they come in really cute boxes. So if it's a sloth, there's a picture of a sloth on the back, a real one. Same thing for the cat. So the boxes are open. You can see the animal, you can touch the animal, and then it has a string on top so you can actually carry the animal in the box around. These boxes are pretty cool. You might want to save them for a future craft. I'm just saying. We might use it.
Here is Mr. Sloth. I wouldn't say he's the cutest thing, but he is a sloth. He's furry, feels like a beanie baby. So it's not like a full stuffed animal. It's definitely, he's got some air in there. And then his hands do Velcro together. As you can see, they're together and he can hang on my hand. Same thing with his feet, they Velcro together. So he is actually going to be able to hang all over Leah's hut, the fruit stand. I don't know what kind of mischief he's gonna get into because he sleeps most of the day, but we'll see. And then here is the wild Margay cat. Now the cat is kinda cute and kinda creepy looking. I don't know which one I think he is more. Long tail, again he feels like a beanie baby so he's not a fully stuffed animal. Look at those eyebrows. Is he cute? Is he creepy? I don't know. I definitely like the pattern on his body though. It's cute. And then here we have the sea turtle. Now this one is a fully stuffed animal. There, it's not a beanie baby inside. I don't feel any of that going on. It's fully stuffed. I know the tags have gotta go. They're gonna get in the way of photo shoots. <laughs> but yeah, he's a fully stuffed animal. They're all kind of about the same size. Next up, we have Leah's Ocean Kayak Set. It's a really nice piece. It's not an inflatable. It is a hard kayak. It comes with a paddle and a purple seat. Stays in place. Discover Bahia is on both sides of the kayak. There's storage in the back so she can put some goodies back there and they don't fall out. There you go. On the bottom, there's interchangeable scenes. So it's clear, so she can see right through the kayak, which is pretty cool. So that way she'll be able to see all the beautiful sea creatures. So some starfish. And then when she pulls the kayak on sand, she can see the sand. Or maybe she's just in clear water. Look at that. That's where I wanna be. So there's the kayak piece. And then here is the sail, has a turtle on it. So all you have to do is snap it into the main kayak piece. And then it opens up. So it turns around, it folds down, it has the string on it so the doll can hold it to change the sail, which is really cool. See? You can pull it all kind of different ways. And then I love that the paddle has the handles on it because the doll can actually hold it. And then here's the life vest. It snaps and it zips and it goes along with her rainforest theme. So this piece is really cute. Safety first. Must wear a life vest while kayaking. And then here, of course, she's a photographer so she has to have a camera. It's waterproof. I love the details on this camera. Look at the back. It has all the little buttons and it has a little image on it. So that is cute. I like how she has more than one camera in her collection. Hey, and you know what? Maybe we'll craft a few too. A photographer can never have too many cameras. Next up is Leah's fruit stand. Here it is out of the box. You do have to put the awnings on it. This awning says Bahia Berry, so it's the name of her little fruit stand. You open up the windows and it has the menu items on here, which is really cute. And then here you have the little fruit holder, so you can put the bananas in there and the different fruits. And then you have a cooler underneath. The cooler is attached to the stand, it does not come off. So the drinks will come out of it, but the cooler is going to stay on, as well as the shelving. Turn it to the side. You have like a little branch that the birds can sit on. So the toucan, but then also the bird, the parrot from Leah's Hut can fit on it too. Couple more signs, a menu holder. You have a beautiful little table with a wave. It looks like it's the fake tile work for the wave. But it's really cute and it's very sturdy. This piece is heavy, it's a solid wood piece. Turn it to the back of the fruit stand, you have more 
baskets up here. And then you have little hooks that you can hang your tongs on, your spoons on. And there are also hooks on the side of the fruit stand for your tote bag and your blue fruit mesh bag. Really cute pieces. And then we have this floating counter that has storage for some of your pieces. And also your toppings can fit right in there. So that's a really cute piece. And I love that it has the extra storage behind the fruit counter. So you have all your little toppings that fit right into it. Let's turn it back around so you can get a view of it again. So you've seen it all the way around. What do you think of it? When it's closed, you can put the close sign on the windows. Now the fruit stand also comes with a lot of pieces. So here they are all laid out so you can see them individually. I've kind of shown them in the video a little bit earlier. So you get a sheet of stickers. I'm not big on stickers, but if you like stickers, you can put them all over your fruit stand. You have a little sea turtles brochure. Gives you a little bit of information on sea turtles and how you can help. So that is cute. Then you have a menu, only one menu, so be careful not to lose it. A lot of these items are on the windows of the fruit stand as well. Here's the close sign. Sorry, we are closed. Come back soon. And it's just on a little piece of cardboard, so recycled cardboard. And then here's your tote. I'm sure it's a recycled tote. Fruit can go in there so your doll can carry fruit around. Then we also have a toucan. I like how they've included several different tropical birds in her collection. Really cool. And he also has the talons that are in like an open grip so he can sit on the fruit stand but he can also sit on her hut. So you can change the birds around in different scenes. We have one can of organic coconut water very detailed can. Then we also have a bottle of guava juice, tropical guava juice. Maybe that's what she was drinking in her hut. Hmm. And another bottle of tropical mango juice. And a pair of tongs. I'm not sure what she's gonna pick up with these. Maybe the toppings or the tamales. Then we have two plates. It's nice to see a pair instead of just one plate. So we have two of those, so at least friends can come and eat together, dine together. This bunch of bananas is cute. I love the bananas. There's something about doll food that is just so adorable. Here we have the acai berry bowl. It looks like they have added some extra toppings. So maybe some coconut, some strawberries, blueberries. What else is on there? It's cute. Here we have, it says two coconuts. Doesn't look like coconuts to me. Even peeled coconuts are usually white, but I don't know, maybe. Learn something new. Here's a bunch of passion fruit. One's cut open. And then here's a half coconut. See, that looks like a coconut. I'm not sure what the green ones are. They look like a different type of fruit. Spoon. And then here's another spoon for the toppings. And again, these will hang on the hooks in the back of the fruit stand. Back to those coconuts. I still think it looks more like a guava or mango. Okay, now here is a bunch of the bread buns. So basically three rolls. <laughs> and these are mangoes. So you have a bunch of mangoes. Then these are the tamales. So you have two bunches of those. I'm sure those are very popular. Then you have a cluster of granola. And if you see its shape, you'll notice this goes into like the toppings bar. And there's one basket. So four toppings can fit in the bar and then one has to be in the basket. You have the shredded coconut, the cubed mango, and then the acai berries. So all of these can also be used for smoothies. Speaking of smoothies, there is this amazing blender that comes with the fruit stand. It doesn't turn on or make a sound or light up, but it's still adorable. Um, the knob on it does twist, so your dolls can turn it on, mix up that smoothie. Nice and healthy, yummy fruit. 
Look at that. What flavor do you think this is? Hmm. So I like how the lid comes off of the container, the container comes off of the blender. Here is Leah's accessory set. It's a great value, I think. It comes with a lot of cool stuff. Photos. Leah, you did such a great job with these pictures. So four pictures that Leah took herself, a passport, little butterfly on the front, it's green. Open it up. Look at that. Aren't you a cutie, Leah? All her information's on there, and guess what? It hasn't been stamped yet, so you can stamp it yourself. So I wonder where your Leah doll will travel. A National Geographic for kids, sea turtles, and as always, they do deliver. It's completely full of really cool stuff. We might need to make some more of these because one is just not enough. It's too cute. Okay, then we have a bracelet. It's elastic, so it just fits right over her arm. Three pink, orange, and yellow, but they're all connected together. And then it has a little sea turtle charm on it. She also has a camera, which if you remember her tablet from her hut, the USB cord fits into this camera. How cool is that? And it has a strap on it, so she can wear it around her shoulder, around her neck, but I really love it because it's really easy to take the straps off, which is really cool. And it comes with like two little finger holders for the dolls, so the dolls can actually hold this camera. This is something I love with accessories. If the dolls can actually hold it without having to put tape or rubber bands around it, I'm in, I love it. And then she has a hair piece, it's a braid with her colors in there, the wild pink, orange, and yellow, and then the back is elastic so it stretches. It's still a tight fit for her. Overall, great value. Here is Leah's beach dress. Now this comes in the special collection with the doll. You have the sunglasses with the funky design on them. You have a butterfly clip, little blue butterfly that just clips into her hair. Then you have these neon green sandals. They're little flip flops, little thongs. They match the glasses and the straps to her dress which her dress is a purple tie-dye. It's elastic at the waist. It has her little symbol on the skirt part. The top is elastic as well. It's ribbons for straps. And that's basically it to her little beach dress. Here is Leah's Rainforest Dreams outfit. Just by looking at it, it just looks like a summer romper. There's elastic at the waist a little ribbon at the waist, but this is actually her pajama set. So this is what she sleeps in at night, which even the girl version, if you get the big set for the girls, it looks like a romper that you can wear out and about, so not just PJs in my opinion. The slippers I'm not too impressed with. Um, it has like an elastic ribbon to hold the back of the foot and the toe. And then the flowers, I'm just not a huge fan of how the flowers look. I think maybe without the flowers I would have really liked them. Here's Leah's mix and match swim set. So you're supposed to be able to mix it and match it. Either way is really cool because two dolls can have on a swimsuit at the same time and it came from one set. And they're matching, which is really fun. So Leah and her buddy can go swimming at the beach. The back of this completely Velcros. These are the bottoms. This little bikini has the fringe on it, which is really popular right now. Cute little design in the back. And then just kind of simple bottoms. You don't want to have too much going on with the fringe up top. And then of course a headband, because you know when you're going swimming at the beach, you gotta have a headband in. Here is Leah's Bahia outfit. The concept of it is really cool. It's a really cute design. Love the colors. I actually do love the colors. I love the shorts on the bottom and then 
you know, the long sleeve or the quarter sleeve up top. The thing I'm disappointed about is that it's not embroidered. So it's just the design printed on the shirt. So I was really hoping, you know, for a really cool top. The shorts do have pockets that work. And then on the back you have the Leah Clark on it. And then here you have the sandals. Of course you'll need to cut off the tag so she doesn't look silly. And the sandals are really cute. I'm not sure if I love them with this outfit, but they're cute sandals to have. This is Leah's Rainforest Hike outfit. Comes with a little watch. This is a bright neon watch. So it's a bright pink. It does clasp like a real watch, so it's adjustable size. Then you have a bright yellow headband that stretches. I'm always a fan of those simple headbands. You have these hiking boots. Now these are some hiking boots. You got green and pink and brown and they don't tie, it's just the elastic. So the stretchy little shoestrings. Here's the bottom of the hiking boot. So Leah's gonna be able to do a lot of exploring in these boots. Here are her pants. They're just capri length. And it has pockets so you can really stuff some stuff in those pockets. And then it has a belt that clips on and off. Here's the little white t-shirt with the butterfly painted on there. Velcros all the way down. And that's the set. This is Leah's Rainforest Hike accessory. So this goes with the outfit we just looked at. This is a hiking backpack. Very simple, has a zipper. You can really put stuff in the backpack. So that's really cute. Here's the bug spray, bug repellent. Really cute little bottle. It's a spray bottle. And look, you can just stick it in the backpack. Perfect fit. And then it has straps like a backpack and then it also has the little clip for added support while you're hiking. And then you have a little water tube so she can just drink as she goes. No need to stop with that water bottle. So that's nice to have when you're hiking. And then of course your hiking stick walking stick. Really cool design on here. It kind of reminds me of those funky pins that you get at like the doctor's office or the dentist office. Then it has a little handle on here so the doll can actually hold it. Then of course the pair of binoculars because while your doll is out exploring she might hike up in a tree and need to look out into the wild. Has a little straps on it so the dolls can actually hold it. The little lens actually spin so you can zoom in and out. Here is a butterfly guide so you can identify the butterflies when you're out in the rainforest. It also comes with snacks. So two fruit snacks, they're the bars, they're organic. And if you look in the little window of the packaging, you can actually see the bar in there. It's really cute. I'll never open it up, but I'll know it's there. And then the last thing in her collection is the beach accessories set. Here we have the little flippers. They do bend. They do fit the doll's feet perfectly. You can actually take the straps off the back so you can slip her foot right in and then strap it on again. And you have a pair of goggles. So while you're snorkeling, or while your doll is snorkeling, she can look under the water easily with her goggles and they are adjustable depending on what type of hair your doll has. Then you have the little snorkel. It's so cute, it looks so real. So you put that right on your doll. She'll be able to snorkel under the water. Then you have the sunscreen. The top actually comes off of the sunblock. It's not squishy. It is a hard plastic, so it doesn't actually give any when you try to squeeze it, but it's cool. Then you have a little sea turtle. Very realistic looking if you look at this one. And then it's a little hatchling. Remember, don't shine light on the turtles and leave them alone. 
And last, we have her beach towel. I like how it says Leah Clark on there, and you can wrap it up and strap it together. It's a nice design. It goes with her entire collection. So again, you know, busy design, busy pattern, bright colors, and it's a great size for a beach towel. And this was her entire collection. We reviewed her rainforest house in a previous video, so if you wanna see that, click on the link on the next picture. And tell us what you think of her collection. What's your favorite item? What do you really love? And what do you want us to craft next?